Well, good night. It is about 10 o'clock at night and we are heading into town to go pick up a Chevy Cruze and tow it to Prineville. About an hour tow it looks like it's gonna be uh, from where it's getting picked up at and where it's going. And man, all these lights I got facing back this way do great for the lighting, but man, they make it so you can't see anything out the window. This is terribly inconvenient. So if a good portion of this video is my face in the dark, now you know why. So we got about a 20, 25 minute drive into town to go get this thing and uh, we'll see you when we get there. We are in town, and now the tricky part is going to be going somewhere in this industrial complex over here, I'm trying to find the car. I don't know, drive way down here, yeah, I don't know what color it is because I'm not very good at my job, so I didn't ask, um, but it is a Chevy Cruze, and I do have the VIN number, and what the heck is that? That'd be way too easy. Not even 100% sure what a Chevy Cruze looks like. That is a Volkswagen. This is a Chevy Cruze. All right. So I'm gonna go check the VIN number and see if that's our car and hopefully we can hook up to it. Okay, this is our car. VIN number's right and even have the note saying, waiting on a tow truck. I already walked around, took all my pictures, and if we look under here, it looks like we got us a, can you see? There we go. An oil pan tow. My favorite. Okay, so we will get backed up to it and uh, hooked up and out of here. Hey, feels like parking brake's dragging. Hopefully he doesn't have the brake set. And he does. Dang it. Well, I guess we gotta break into his car. But uh, first let's get the wheels tied down, the light on the back, all that stuff, and then we'll uh, unlock the door and release the parking brake. So this is a lasso strap. It just has this D-ring on the end. You tuck it through itself, make a loop. Put the loop over the tire, 10 and two ish. Finger hook goes in that hole right there. Snug it up, stick your tail in the ratchet to suck it in. Tighten it down, take the extra through there. Everything's good, not going anywhere. Now we do the other side, throw some chains and a light on it, and then we gotta get inside and undo that brake. Okay, got safety chain straps, all that stuff on. We'll 
turn the light on. Throw it on the back. Hopefully this car's not aluminum. Perfect. Okay, now we saved the unlocking the door for last. Everything is ready to take off down the road because as soon as we unlock the door, the alarm's gonna go off. So I don't wanna sit here and listen to it. So I did all this first. That way I can unlock the door, drop the e-brake, get in the truck with the windows up and drive down the road and it can do what it wants back here. I always check, make sure we got plenty of oil pan clearance, even though that's all already damaged. And the higher you lift the front, the more oil pan clearance you get, but then you got to watch that you don't get too low on the back. We got plenty of room for everywhere we're going. So I'm going to grab the lockout kit. I'll put you right here so you can watch and then I can grab you real quick as I run back to the truck and take off. Okay, I got my long reach tool, a bag and a wedge. Should be everything I need to get in this door. Start by wiggling our long reach or our wedge, air wedge in here. Come on, get in there. There you go. And we'll work our wedge from the back as we pump it up. Create a nice little opening for our long reach tool to go in. And the problem is my phone is up there to be the light for you guys, so I can't really see in here. Okay, so pushing the button doesn't work. Where's the door handle? Up there. stuff in the truck because good god that is loud roll up the window and off we go oh that stopped pretty quick it's not a good alarm okay how do we get out of here i may have taken a wrong turn i hope this comes out somewhere over here but we shall see dead end. Dang it. Oh. Damn it. Man, I would suck at stealing cars. Drive off the dead ends. In the dark too. Can't see backing up. Remember earlier I said I wasn't very good at this job? I wasn't kidding. I want to go that way, but not yet. Where are we looking at? I think let's go over here. Can we turn around here? Three point turn in a tow truck with a car in the back. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's get out of here. If I were a repo man or a car thief, I'd be like for sure busted on this one. That was terrible. Luckily, I'm not either of those things, so it doesn't matter. All right, easy through the dip. Don't drag the back end. Nice. And we're out of here. All right, let's head to Prineville. We got about an hour to get to this guy's house. Oh shit, I can't turn the camera off from in here because you're out there on the back of the truck. Oh well, there's a stop sign up here. I'll stop and get you in a sec. Hang on. You know the only thing weirder than talking to a camera all by yourself with no one around? Just talking to yourself with no one around when the camera's not even in the truck with you. Okay, let's go to Prineville. 
I don't know if you can see really in the dark or not, but that big old massive complex over there, that is one of Facebook's data centers. That's where they store all your personal information and spy on you. They know everything. They know I posted this video before I even posted this video. Oh well. On we go. Okay, we are in Prineville. I skipped the whole driving here thing part because one, you know what driving looks like. And two, it's dark. Can't see anything anyway. So we're pulling in here. We're gonna wind behind the old mill building here and uh, look for an apartment complex. Find our guy, drop off his car. Okay, I believe we take the first right and then I see a guy waving his phone at me, but you can't see because you're facing the other way, so hopefully that's our guy. That is him. Let's see where he wants this thing. How's it going? Pass on this one. Okay. We can do that. Let me pull the chains off so I can turn tighter and I'll back it right in here. Okay. Does it run and drive at all or is it totally dead? Uh, uh, oh, for the belt? Okay. Yeah. I can back it in there then. That's easy. Pull the safety chains off so we can turn a little sharper. Let's see how bad I can screw this up. Does that work right there? Uh, yeah, it's right there. Right. Perfect. Normally I never get it in one shot when someone's watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got your keys on you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and lock it. Perfect. Perfect. Because I had to unlock it too release the parking brake so if you had to open the doors the alarm would have started going off but if you lock it now when you unlock it and open it it won't wake everybody up
Yeah, I just got to take some pictures of it to show that it's still in the same yeah. shape as when I found it, and then it's all yours. Okay. okay it's you. all yours you have a good one and that is exactly why i had him lock it and then unlock it otherwise we need to open the door right there the alarm would have went off and that would have been super fun in this apartment complex in the middle of the night so Now we've got about an hour's drive back home. It's 11.30 now, so about 12.30 we'll get home. Go to bed. Hopefully the phone doesn't ring between now and then so that when I get there, I'm all done. And that will be it for this one. So, once again, same way we started this video, same way we'll end it. Good night. <laughs>